If you want to have the most forgiving setup that you can, let's talk about paper tuning. All right, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're going to be talking about paper tuning uh, and kind of debunking something that I hear all the time, and that's that paper tuning is a starting point. Paper tuning is only a starting point if you let it be a starting point. Um, if you're only shooting through paper at three yards and getting a bullet hole and then going to broadhead tuning, then yes, paper tuning is a starting point. However, with my method of paper tuning out to 60, 70, 80 yards, when I'm done with paper, I can guarantee that my broadheads are going to group with my field tips out to those ranges. I've done it out of customer bows. I've done it out of my bow countless times and it's repeatable. And these are the facts of it when it comes to shooting through paper. So my process is pretty simple. I start at three yards with a bear shaft and I'm gonna shoot it through paper and I'm gonna get it as close to perfect as I possibly can. Then I'm going to back up to 15 yards and I'm gonna shoot that bear shaft through paper at 15 yards. Once I've done that, I'm going to then micro tune with shims, yokes, set technology, deadlock, whatever your bow has at its disposal to fix that tear, I'm going to use that at 15 yards to get it as close to perfect as possible. Once I get it as close to perfect as possible, with everything still running dead center down the middle of the bow, if I haven't gotten it absolutely perfect, then I will micro adjust my rest to get it to shoot a perfect bullet hole at 15 yards. Now I'm going to fletch my arrows. I'm going to send my fletched arrows through the paper at three yards and at 15 yards just to verify in that process typically like out of two dozen arrows i'll only ever have like three or four that need an additional knock tune it really just depends on how consistent your spine is on your shafts um, as to whether they're going to pull a hole after you've bear shafted all of them or if you're going to need to knock tune them with fletchings on these day six arrows, I only had to knock tune like three of them after I bear shafted all of them. Um, but on a Black Eagle Rampage, which I was shooting prior, it was not uncommon for me to shoot all of them through paper. And the spine is very, very pronounced on those. And once I shot them all as a bullet hole with bear shafts, when I fletched them, they all went through the paper just fine. Um, but on a shaft that is very, very consistent and doesn't have a super pronounced spine like Ultras or um, Day6 or some other arrows out there, X Impacts. Now, even though you got a perfect bear shaft, you still might have to knock tune it. That's why I always verify with the fletchings at 3 and 15 yards. Then I'm going to go to the range and I'm going to shoot 60 yards with a broadhead and a field tip. And I promise you, they will hit together. They might not be right on top of each other, but they're going to be within inches of each other at those distances. And then you can just make a micro adjustment to your rest and everything will be running smooth, true and forgiving. Now, the problem with using paper as a starting point and then going out in broadhead tuning, now you're moving your rest to fix those tears that would have been present at 15 yards if you had shot through paper at 15 yards. But because you did it, now you're fixing that tear by taking your bow out of center, thus making the cam system less efficient. The bow is going to get louder. It's going to be less forgiving. And it's just not going to be as accurate as it would be if you left everything right down the center, as close to center as possible, and paper tuned at 15 yards. So before you guys leave your pro shop or if you're working on your own stuff, I definitely recommend shooting a bear shaft through paper at 15 yards and seeing what that tear does. And if you can fix it right there without taking your bow out of center, you're going to have a way more forgiving, way more accurate overall setup. And you're going to be overall more happy with the performance of your bow. Uh, if you guys got any other questions, feel free to reach out to me either in the comment section on my Facebook page, Bergie Bowsmith, or um, 
you know, shoot me a message on Instagram or whatever social media platform. Uh, Bergie Bowsmith is the channel and the page on everything. If you guys like content like this and you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below if there's anything that you guys want me to cover. Also, these hats will be available on my website uh, coming later on this week. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, with that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.